Hi there, so we're back on standard form. Now, today I'm not fighting against the noise from the dog or the cats, it's the coffee machine that's fighting me. But anyway, let's carry on. So first of all, a bit of a demonstration about what we're doing here. I've got two numbers written in standard form. Remember with standard form, we have one digit, possibly followed by a decimal point, etc. We never have two, des two digits in front of a decimal point, and it can never be zero, so just a single one. And then times by a power of 10 which is like my adjuster. So really, my number isn't six. It's actually five places bigger than that, which means it's going to be 600,000. Okay, and I'm adding another number to that. It's basically just adding two numbers together. That's all it is. Um, there's two ways you can do this. Now, I'm going to show you both, but we'll use the second one. But the first one's quite handy because it actually demonstrates a, a bit of a problem, but you'll see what I mean. Right, the method one is just change them to ordinary numbers first. So my 6 times 10 to the power of 5 would really be 600,000. And my 2 times 10 to the power of 4 would be 20,000. Now it's worth saying actually at this point that this method, you know, is perfectly valid and works perfectly fine. So if you find the other one tricky, then maybe you can use this one. The other one is a lot more efficient though, all right? Now obviously I'm going to add these together because that was the question, was add. Uh, to get 620,000, but then you nearly always have to give your answer in standard form. So we'll rewrite it again as, what, 6.2, and then see how far my decimal point or my numbers will have shifted, which is five places. So 6.2 times 10 to the power of 5 when I add these two together. Now, notice it's not just 8, and certainly not the power of 9 or anything like that because of what these numbers are when you sort of expand them out into normal form. Now the other methods are much more um, uh, efficient, as I say, and it's just one of the powers of 10. All right. So if I uh, look at these, I've got 6 times 10 to the power of 5 and 2 times 10 to the power of 4, and I'm looking for the largest one, all right? So I'm looking for the largest number which is that one, and I'm going to adjust the other power up to that. So I'm going to rewrite my number here up to this power. Now, if I'm doing that, I will need to adjust it. My power is going to go up to 5. So what's my 2 going to do? So this has moved one digit bigger. Remember, my numbers then move one place smaller, which means 0 0.2. So 2 times 10 to the 4, you make the power bigger and the number gets one place smaller. It doesn't go down to one or anything, but it does go one place smaller. Then, once you've done that, you can just add your two decimal bits together. Six times 10 to the power of five, 0 0.2 times 10 to the power of five, add those together, 6.2 times 10 to the power of five. Notice nothing happens with our powers, right? Don't need to, because we've, you know, with these two uh, bits, we've already adjusted it, uh, I don't need to adjust the place value again. I've already adjusted the place value. That is a lot more efficient, don't you think? So find the one that's the bigger, the larger even, sorry, the bigger, and then change the other one so the power matches. So match the powers, and then you can just add the decimal parts. Much better, I think. Right, 6.2 times 10 to the power of 5. Oh, same answer, same question. So here's another example. Right, first of all, look for the one that's got the larger number. Well, that's actually, this one is larger. So I'm going to change my 4 times 10 to the power of 5 up to something to the power of 6. So the powers of 10 match. Now the power got one bigger, which means my number is going to get one smaller. Yeah. So I'm going to then add... 0.4 times 10 to the power of 6 to 2.4 times 10 to the power of 6. Add those two together and I get 2.8 times 10 to the power of 6. Remember, you don't change your powers afterwards. Yep, just add those decimal bits. Right, come on. You have a go. There's a question for you. Look for which one is the larger number, uh, adjust it, and then add them. Unpause when you're done. Cool, so I think it's fair to say that one is the larger because it's to the power of seven. I probably should have said that, shouldn't I? Obviously, it's going to be really seven places bigger than this. It's 30 million. This one's only six places bigger. 
it's definitely going to be smaller. So I'm going to adjust this one so it's now something to the power of 7. Always try and match the powers up to the biggest one, I think. Now my number got one bigger, which means my digit gets one smaller. And then I'm going to add that to 3 times 10 to the power of 7. So it's 3.18 times by 10 to the power of 7. As I say, if you really struggle with this, you can always do it the other way. It's just it's more prone to mistakes and it's nowhere near as efficient. This one is a lot quicker. Right, next one. Two more for you to do. Pause the video, unpause when you're done. Okay, we've unpaused. Now, did you spot that this is to the power of 10? This is the larger number, because it's to the power of 12. This one is to the power of 10. Now, I need them to match, so it's got to be to the power of 12. That means my number needs to be two places smaller, because this number's got two digits bigger. So, 0 0.012. It's really important that however many, you know, this has got bigger, that's how many places that the other one needs to do the opposite and get smaller. So 6.05 times 10 to the power of 12, add those two together to get 6.062, because the five is in the same column as the one. 10 to the power of 12, remember you don't adjust those powers of 12, the powers of 12, <laughs> those powers of 10, right? Once you've done your adjustment, that's it, you don't need to. And this one, okay, which one's bigger? That one's bigger because it's the power of 6, which means we're going to change this one to be the power of 6 as well. It's got two places, or two numbers bigger, so this is going to get two places smaller. 0 0.0305. My other one is 2.18 times by 10 to the power of 6. Let's add them together. Two point. Uh, okay, this is the danger. I shouldn't really go from the left, should we? Should go from the right. So it's five, zero. Three and eight makes 11. So I carry the one, add that to that one, and it's a two. Yeah, I should always add up from the right. So I was being a bad person there. 2.2105. Okay, times 10 to the power of six. Easy, isn't it? Straightforward. It's easy peasy. What can make it harder? Subtracting. Not a lot harder though, to be fair. This is still kind of like the the hardest bit is like year four maths, I think, maybe. Maybe year three. Right. There is the bigger number. Yeah, uh, because it's got a higher power, which means it's going to be one place bigger than this one. So this is the number that I'm going to subtract. Now notice I'm going to leave a bit of space here above this one. Now my power is the power of 6, and I don't want the power of 6, do I? Because I want it to match. So I am going to write it to the power of 7. So this will be to the power of 7, just like the other one is. Uh, it's got one number bigger, so my number gets one place smaller. So 0 0.57. But the number above is still 3 times 10 to the power of 7. Notice I'm keeping my place value lined up, right? Because we need to do some arrays, uh, erasing, some subtracting now. I'm just going to put in a couple of zeros just to keep it a bit more obvious what's going on. Now, remember which one you are taking away from which. I'm doing 3 times 10 to the power of 7, subtract 0 0.57 times 10 to the power of 7. Well, I'm going to have to steal from over here. I'm going to steal again. To make that 10. 10 take away 7 is 3, 9 take away 5 is 4, and then 2 take away nothing is 2. 2.43 times 10 to the power of 7. Again, the powers don't change at the end there. Just be careful with your place value when you are subtracting. Go on, you have a go. Pause the video, unpause when you're done. Okay, we have unpaused. Uh, which one's the bigger number? That one is, because it's to the power of 12. So again, I'm going to leave a bit of a gap. And I'm going to rewrite the second number to the same power, to 12. Uh, it's got one bigger, so my number gets one smaller. And then write in your other number, which is uh, also 3. It's a bit weird. Uh, 3 
times by 10 to the power of 12. I'm going to put in a couple of zeros to keep the place value looking good. And we're subtracting again. Let's go back to blue this time. So I'm going to steal from all the way from over here to make 10. Steal again to make 10 on this end one. 10 take away 8 leaves 2. 9 take away 1 leaves 8. 2 take away 0 is 2. All right. Times 10 to the power of 12. The powers don't change. Okay, getting the idea? Good, because there's two more for you to do. Pause the video again. Unpause when you're done. Be careful with the last one. We're unpaused. So there's the biggest number. So I'm going to rewrite the second one, leaving a bit of a gap to the same power, which is the power of 6. My numbers got one bigger, so my digits get one place smaller. Move them across one place. And the other number was 3.6, so we'll put 3.6. Keep your place value there. Let's change back to another color pen because it's helpful to see it. And a couple of placeholders in there to make it a bit easier. All right. So, zero takeaway one, can't do. I'm going to steal from over here. It's five make that 10, steal again, to take one over to make 10 on this end column, 10 take away one, is nine, nine take away nine, is nothing, and five, which is what that was, take away two, is three, and then three take away zero, is also three, times by 10 to the power of six. Well done if you got that. Right, that's the biggest one there, the largest number, so I'm gonna adjust this one. Again, leave a bit of space above your new number, but it needs to match, it needs to be 10 to the power of eight, which means my power has got two bigger, so my number gets two places smaller. It moves across to 0 0.03, still the same number, just written with a different power. Then write the other number above, 4.2 times 10 to the power of eight. Again, change colour to another pen so it highlights what we're doing. Put in a placeholder, keep your place value lined up, and we are subtracting. So, zero take away three, I can't do, so I'm going to steal from there to make ten. Ten take away three is seven. One take away zero is one. And four take away zero is four. Times by ten to the power of eight still. Okay, good. Don't forget, some of you are forgetting when you show me your work to actually mark it, show that it's been marked and you didn't just copy it down. All right. All right, last ones before we sort of go off and do some Dr. Frost stuff, which is going to take a bit of concentrating. I've got 30 questions in there, so I really want you to, um, you know, do them properly. Concentrate, write them out. Don't just try and do them in your head. Right, subtracting again, except this time... I've got negative powers. So these are actually representing small numbers, very small numbers, less than one. And so when I'm looking for the biggest number, I'm actually looking for the smallest power. Because this is only four places smaller than this. This is five places smaller. So this is the biggest one. So this one over here is the one where I want the power to match, and I want it to match to negative four, right? Because trying to find the biggest number. You know, if you're not sure about that, think about what these numbers are. This first one is really 0 0.0003. Yeah? The other one is actually even smaller. It's actually 0 0.000057. Right? Anyway, uh, so my number has got one bigger. So my digits there will get one place smaller. Right, It can be a bit confusing with the negative, so do concentrate. And then I'll just rewrite the other number above, which is three. I seem to like three when I'm writing questions. Right, so we're going to take them away. So we're going to steal from over here. Now 10 take away seven is three. Nine take away five is four. And two take away nothing is two times by 10 to the power of negative 4 still. Okay? All right, come on, you try it. There you go. Come on, you can do it. You're great. You're the best. Probably. Pause the video, unpause when you're done. 
Unpaused, which is the bigger number? This one, because it's got the smaller power. It's only eight places smaller. This one is nine. So we're going to rewrite our second number to the same power as the first one. To the bigger one, sorry. Uh, 2.1, well, negative nine to eight. That's got one bigger. Closer to zero, isn't it? And so this gets one place smaller. Be careful with those. And let's rewrite the other number above, which is 5.4. And let's change to another pen. I didn't change last time. Weird. Got a placeholder in. Subtract. Be careful with your place value. Keep it lined up. Right, let's steal from that four to make three. Carry one across to make ten. Ten take away one is nine. Three take away two is one. Five take away zero is five. Times by 10 to the power of negative 8. That's not going to change. Don't forget to mark it or correct it. Two more. Same drill. You know the drill. Pause the video. Do the questions. Unpause. Mark it. Off to Dr. Frost we go. Unpaused. Which is the larger number? It is this one. Which means this one needs to be written to the same power. To the power of 7. Negative 7, sorry. Negative 8 to negative 7, that's got one bigger, one closer to 0. So my number gets one place smaller. And then I rewrite my other number on top, which is 7.6. And this time I can actually take it away. 6 take away 3 is 3. And that's 7. Yeah, 7.3 times 10 to the power of a negative 7. There is a point in there, by the way. Don't forget to mark it. That is the bigger number, which means this one's got to change to be the same, to be negative 6. Now this has moved two places, so my 5 moves two places, and then I rewrite my other number above, 4.2, put in a placeholder, we're going to subtract, and it is 4.15 times 10 to the power of negative 6. You got this, yeah, mark it, correct it, whatever, if you're not sure, go over those again. It's the negatives that can throw some problems in there. So careful with what you're doing. All right, so off to Dr. Frost, please. There's a thing called add and subtract standard form. I want every single question right. Yeah, you can do it. I know you can do it. Right, contact me if you've got a problem. See you later. Bye-bye.